So the next state that decided to implement a tax this past month in July was Texas. Now, everybody should know Texas's major form of income is oil rigs. That's the oil place. So what do you think all the oil companies are thinking about electric vehicles? That's not optimal because they're going to lose all this taxation. But when I looked into it, out of all the electric vehicles that are purchased in the whole state of Texas, it only accounts for 1% of all other vehicles. So 99% of all vehicles in Texas are gas powered. Well, let's say 95. There's probably some hybrids. in there. But full electric vehicles only account for 1%. But they decided to demonize these electric vehicles and say, all of you guys will pay $200 a year for driving an electric vehicle. Just for owning one. No matter how many miles you drive, no matter what, you will pay $200 a year for owning an electric vehicle. It's like another registration fee. Yeah. Just because you want to own an electric vehicle, and they say this is to accumulate to recoup the lost gas taxes because you don't buy gasoline. And see, if they really cared about the planet and they actually believed their little gospel, they should be taxing anybody who drives a gas vehicle. Well, that, that, that makes sense, though, in Texas because Texas doesn't push that green agenda. It's oil country. Yeah, and they, all my exes live in they, Texas. They, they push that coal agenda. Like, they want to continue the old boy. They want to burn the coal. They want to... They, they don't care about polluting the earth. Now, it makes sense why Oregon, very liberal green state, pushes something like that. But Texas is doing this as punishment to get you back to the gasoline cars. And it makes sense because that's where all their money comes from. But on like 1%, you're afraid of 1%. Yeah, this is coming from the same place where that principal took the doors off of the middle school little girls' stalls. Yeah, in Houston. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the Texas that's making and these the, decisions. And the drag queen, and the drag queen dances in front of children. Yeah, yeah. But you know that, that again. That's different than the state level. This is this is the governor of Texas saying all state, all cities, all counties will comply. On the city, state, lo- and the county level, individual regulations may be a little different. But and maybe that's what accounts for these weird anomalies like that school or these drag queen stuff. But when it comes to electric vehicles, the governor has decided to make the whole state comply. Yeah. I'm not going to even touch it either. I, I don't want them putting bread on my head. So, But anyways, the reason why I was saying this is because it's just like property tax. Any form of taxation you don't pay. They made sure this was the emphasis of a way to prosecute and create some kind of sovereignty over the individual without compone is through tax invasion. So if you don't pay your property tax, you pay off your house mortgage. If you don't pay off your property tax, you can lose your house. So you don't really own it. Uh, you pay. You have a car. If you decide you don't want to register it, you're gonna you're gonna lose it. But now eventually it's gonna be EV tax. You don't pay this EV tax, you're gonna lose it. Or there's gonna be a fine. You don't pay the fine. There's gonna be a bench warrant. You're gonna go to jail. And then the, the city's gonna repo it until you pay the EV tax. Eventually, every form of invasiveness, they're going to be able to utilize a way to control, again, a bypass to this Fourth Amendment. And think about it. Like we told you before on the digital license plates, there is a bypass that the government uses all the time to the Fourth Amendment. Because everybody's going to say, you don't have a right to search my car. You don't have a right to seize my car. This is a legal search and seizure, Fourth Amendment. But if the government utilizes a third-party service to track or to contain informational data, they can utilize that third-party service to search this data. Because you would say, well, the government doesn't have a right to track my car. And they may not. But if they utilize a third-party service to track the GPS on your car, they can request that information from that third-party service, get your information, and they don't need a warrant for that. So they can bypass the searching of your private information, the GPS tracking information, by simply allocating or contracting a third-party service to monitor your vehicle's GPS, uh, GPS location and information to verify how much to tax you. So ultimately, this is how future smart cities are going to be implemented. They're going to enforce carbon taxing. If you don't, you're going to you possibly lose your house, lose your electricity services. If you don't have eventually some kind of solar 
integration into your system. So they're going to start forcing green services and green taxation. So if you start having solar, they may eventually have a sun tax because you're using the sun. Like Monsanto's wanted to own the sun so they could charge people for sun usage. So at some point, taxation is going to be the death of it. And that's how they're going to eventually take over everything and say, we own everything, you own nothing, and you're going to like it. And it's through taxation. So right now, the emphasis is electric vehicles. And everything was so promoted for the last 10 years. But now the acclimation is set. Everybody now has in their brain, maybe my next vehicle, I'm going to get electric. Like everybody's been thinking. But now, since people are doing it, there's some kind of consequence. And eventually, all the digitalization is going to enforce it. And, and then again, if they don't cap inflation, what do you think is going to be the thing that continues stays up? Because everything, when you look at the CPI, there's core and then there's uh, standard CPI. But energy is always up. Energy hasn't come down. When you look at the CPI numbers, inflation, it doesn't show energy is going down. So if inflation doesn't get fixed, gas prices, infinity is going to go up. And this is a battle between OPEC and the U.S. oil reserves. And this is going to keep on fluctuating. And if it gets too expensive, people are just going to see electric vehicles as a optimal solution. And so they can force, you know, the government really wants you to get an electric vehicle. They can force you. They can just make gas prices go eight dollars an hour, eight dollars a gallon. And it still won't be enough to cover two hundred dollars a year, though. Eight dollars a gallon depends how much you drive. If you drive a lot, no, you can spend that in a, in a month. Yeah, but for people that don't drive a lot, especially like all these third party services, like if you're an Uber driver, a Lyft driver, a DoorDash person, all these people use gas out the kazoo. You will get an electric car because there is no way you're going to be able to afford that in gas at eight dollars a gallon. And they could force it. They could start forcing people if they really want to. They would have to do it very slowly because if they do it too quickly, they would have an uprising. Well, they could do it fast and nothing, nobody could do anything about it. Nobody would blame the government because this whole fluctuation between OPEC regulating how much gas they push out and how much oil reserves the United, the United States has, there's nothing anybody can do about it. You just can't make gas come out of nowhere. So if OPEC decides to restrict and we can't import and we're, we're consuming more than we produce as the United States, supply and demand, there's nothing you can do about it. It will just go up. And everybody knows that. And that's why people go to war for oil. Yeah, because, you know, the people that work for CNN and uh, Oprah Winfrey and Whoopi Goldberg and all these, you know, extreme left wingist people. They're just looking for another way, a, a reason to cause another riot against the White House and then blame it on the QAnon it's or, either that or the United States or whatever they want to. Or the United States is going to go to war again and say there was another terrorist attack and we need to go this place to fix the terrorists, but it's just going to be another oil grab to steal more oil. There's all, all kinds of things that can happen, but that's how they could slowly force people to do something is by raising gas prices, and there's nothing anybody can do about it. And so I'm not sure what's going to happen to enforce people to continue doing it while they're seeing consequences for purchasing EVs, but clearly that's what's starting to be pushed. I just think it's interesting, no matter how far you go down this line, the government is going to find a way to turn the United States into a smart country. This ain't a smart city. This ain't going to be a smart county. This isn't going to be a smart state. This is going to be a smart country. This is going, but we're not going to be too smart. <laughs> maybe a smart continent. Yeah, maybe one day the agenda that people were talking about a decade ago, the North American Union to be a collaboration between Canada, Mexico, and the United States into one unified country like the European Union using a unified currency like the uh, what they called it the theoretical currency was the Amero maybe but regardless of all that I just wanted you guys to have a grip on what is coming down the pipeline the next Bernays agenda is going to be utilizing electric vehicles electric additional supplemental services like solar power wind power or water generative power, they're all going to be taxed at some point. 
And they're already talking about it anyways when it comes to solar. They're already talking about charging people for, if you have solar, you're using more sun than other people because you're, you're holding sun energy in your batteries. So you're, those batteries are part of the sun. And because you're inside the, the, because you're inside the United States, the United States has the ability to tax it because that sun is a part of the United States. So the United States could tax you for sun usage. And so at some point, they're going to start taxing you. And the water is the same thing. That's water of the United States. So they could tax you for water storage. They could tax you for wind because that wind was on the United States. So they could tax you for wind storage. At some point, all these things are taxable. Because you already pay the tax right now on gas and coal. There's an additional tax on, on your bill. But right now, there is no tax for solar and wind and water. But eventually down the pipeline, there will be. And you're going to be taxed already for drinking water. You're going to be taxed for air, pretty soon to breathe. And at some point, when all money is digitized, they're just going to take it out. And there's nothing you can do because there's no more cash. And so you're just going to be in a, the most totalitarian state you can even imagine. But welcome. I'm excited. To the smart, not smart country, the United States of America. But that's all I have for the electric vehicle taxation, the smart city taxation, which we already see Maui has been implementing that construct since 2017 with the smart Maui Smart Grid Project. So we already know what's going on over there with the Maui fires. 